do we feel is the name on the roster who will make an impact that is not in the spotlight right now? J Mac, who you who do you have in mind that's gonna take that step? Yeah, I'm looking at so looking at this receiver room. A lot of guys in that room brought in some guys via the draft. Um, guy was there last year, Dante Pettis. Mm. Right, he was a second round draft pick when he came out. Um, got good athleticism. Was their main returner last year. Has the ability, but only had 19 catches last year. Right, yeah. so he's in a situation where. You know, he's, when he's in that wide receiver room, and he may be in there right now because I think they, they're in OTAs, right? You look to your left, you see Tyler Scott. Look to your right, there's Bellis Jones. You look in front of you, there's DJ Moore. Look to the right of DJ Moore, there's Darnell Mooney, right? Yeah. I got to do something <laughs> if I want to yeah. be here. You know, EQ say Brown's over here. I got to do something if I want to be here, right? We talked about it, I think last week we talked about it being, you know, it's – you know, they say in the NFL, they say don't count numbers, but it is a numbers game. They're only going to keep a certain amount, uh, you know, for each position. So I know I got to go out here and make plays. I got to do something to change the narrative because, you know, DJ Moore is going to be here. Yeah. You know, Darnell Mooney is going to be here when healthy. Uh, you know, Chase Claypool is going to be here. Tyler Scott's going to be here, drafted guy. So I got to go out here. I got to beat out somebody. I got to beat out somebody. So I'm, I'm looking at him. I think he has – he's got the size. He's got the athleticism to make plays. And he can put a monkey rich in that wide receiver room. So I'm looking at him to, to, to maybe be a guy, and there's always one that you don't – that like we said when you started this, that's not in the limelight, that just does a tremendous job in training camp, that just blows the doors off training camp, has a great preseason, and then the dilemma comes in. How do we keep this guy? I think Dante Pettis could be one of those guys this year on the offensive side. I, I I look at the defensive side, right? I think there's a name that we often overlook because of the young people that are coming in, because of uh, uh, the rookies that we've drafted, different things like that. I think Justin Jones is going to be a key to this okay. defense. I think he's going to be a real key and a name that probably many of us have overlooked because of Javon Dexter, because of Zach Pickens. We think that they're going to be in the middle of that defense. Mm -hmm. But Justin Jones with the Chargers was an elite run stopper. Yeah. And... Uh, I think with a better defense behind him and, and a better defensive front, hopefully around him, he'll be a guy that I don't know if he gets back. I believe he had seven sacks with the Chargers. I don't know if he gets back to a seven sack guy. But what I do think that he can do is stifle the run with some of the best of them. And now he's going to have defensive players around him that are going to be able to help him to be able to do that. I, I think that that's something where last season, right, it was it was easy to run on the Bears. Like you, all you had to do was say, "Okay, there's nobody on the outside. I'm gonna run this thing outside." I didn't have to run at Justin Jones. I can run away from Justin Jones all day. I know he's good at that. Yeah. Don't go at him. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Let's get outside. I think that now with better players there, right? When you have players that are gonna be able to come up and set that edge, and you've got players on your front line, hopefully being able to get a little more penetration. Justin Jones to me is the guy that I looked at that I think is going to really be able to kind of stand out, step up. And we heard him talk again with Black and Abdallah at the draft party. I just mm -hmm. love his mentality. Yeah. He, he was like, they, they, they were asking him about, um, you know, playing against the Packers and, and how, right, like everybody's going to go in at you and how everybody's doubting you. He just looked at him and said, I love it. Yeah, I, I got one for you too. Oh, let's do it. Aside. So I'm going to go for the underdog. You know, I, I've been in this situation with these guys. You know, I've been the underdog. I've been in a room that's had four fullbacks, you know, my rookie year, and I yeah. was fourth when I came in. Um, so I look at it th like this, right? Everybody's talking about pass rush. You know, we're talking about, hey, bring in Daniil Hunter. You know, Yannick and uh, – uh, Yannick, Yannick Ngakwe. Yeah, I can't pronounce it. Yannick and Gakwe. <laughs> <laughs> Yannick and Gakwe. Yeah. 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 Yannick and Gakwe is out there, right? Now, here's a guy – who Poles drafted his first year, who really good athleticism. I think he played receiver for, for yeah. you know, his entire career. And then yeah. I think he had two years of playing uh, defensive end. And they drafted him based upon his potential, right? And I'm talking about Dominic Robinson. Yeah. Right. You look at you look at Dominic Robinson, right? He hasn't played the position for a long time. When you look at how long he played that position in college, uh, I think he played it for one year. And then he had that COVID year, so he didn't play. So he opted right. to stay and then had a full year playing that position. So his first year in Chicago may have been his third year, maybe, you know, playing that uh, playing defensive end. So 
you get another year in this defensive system, right? You get another year of development with your position coach. Uh, you know, you already had the skill set, but now you have more of an understanding of the position and how to play the position. Yeah. Uh, you get to come in and learn from some of the older guys, but you see what they didn't do, the older guys, right? You see they didn't get pressure on a quarterback. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You learn how to be a pro from them, but you see, hey, they didn't get no sacks. And, yeah. you know, that's all they're talking about in Chicago. Here's Pat, the designer, talking about bringing Danelle Hunter, bringing Danelle Hunter, you know, on the Chicago Bears podcast. So he... Hey, he knows he has opportunity, right? Yeah. And he be a guy who's developed, right? Who's learned how to play the position that can come in and make some noise. They can come in and, can, and show that he can get consistent pressure on the quarterback. So he's kind of a dark horse who nobody's talking about. We're talking about guys and free agents, veteran free agents. And you have a guy that has potential who you brought in your first year of the draft who hasn't really shown anything because he's still learning how to play the position. So – I'm excited to see what he does. All I need him to do is not give away the thing that he figures out on the field to the media. Just don't do that no more. Like I, I was like, like, I thought he came out. Well, is that week one versus yeah. uh, the 49ers comes out killing off of the off of the uh, right side, left side of the line, mm -hmm. getting into the backfield on every play. Like, oh man, this dude's amazing. Go straight into the press conference. Yeah, man. He lifted his foot this way every time. I knew it was a pass. I was like, what are you doing? Like, don't. Like, not but, granted. Listen, <laughs> for a young change. player, that's good though. He, he's showing you. He, he's reading keys and for a young player to 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 see you know be able to read keys like that and to you know to have that to have that type of game early. You know, he's shown flashes. He can he can be a factor, but now can you do it consistently? Yeah. Hey, AJ Mac, uh, I I was I was very big on uh, one thing in high school because I spent a lot of time in uh, detention and uh, in ISS. Yeah. Uh, silent reading. Let's let's do let's work on some silent reading out here, Dominic. Let's, let's do a little bit of silent reading out here. Right. Hey, hey, you gotta get a cheese away.